judgment mashallah people of jannah not yet entered but they are there i just realized one thing when i said people of jannah i'm pointing at the sisters i cannot say people of jahannam and point to the brothers what i meant let me say people of jannah and point here on the ground rather than jannah and jahannam don't get me wrong some of the young people will say later on you see sheikh was pointing at the sister saying they are going to jannah and pointing at the brother saying i don't know who is going anywhere my brothers or sisters we are all trying and inshallah we will all make it may allah grant us jannah so when the people of jannah get into jannah and when the people of jahannam in fact not yet got in but they know they are going to go in and the people of jahannam subhanallah rabbil alameen there will be people in the middle watching from an elevated position known as al-a'raf their condition and their fate is not yet decided they are waiting and already these people have started feeling the goodness of jannah these people have started feeling the harms of jahannam hellfire so now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looking at the people of hellfire would say the statement are these people the ones whom you swore an oath that Allah won't have mercy on them? Let me put you into the picture. Here are the people of hell. Here is the elevation, the people on the elevation. And now Allah is addressing the people of hell who used to say before to the people of the elevation while they were in the world, Allah will never have mercy on you. What did they say? Allah will never have mercy on you. So now Allah is saying to them, are these not the ones whom you used to say, Allah won't have mercy on them? They used to, isn't it? They used to say that. Then Allah will tell the people of the elevation, you enter paradise. This is the mercy of Allah. Imagine when exam results are announced, those who passed have passed. If you were to announce them in order, starting with the ones who got the highest marks, and they are, for example, 100 students, and you start 90, 95, sorry, 95, 90, 85, 80, 75, 70, 65, 60, 55, and your name is still not called out. And they stop for a while. Hey, all those whose names are not called out, they are just watching. Then they stop and they tell you, listen, we are stopping here. Now we are calling the ones who failed. So they start from the other way. They've left it at 55 and they start from zero. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And they stop again. Your name is still not called out. Where are you? You are on the elevation. Now do you understand what we are saying? The people of Jahannam, the people of those who passed, passed, those who failed, failed. But there are people in the middle. Their matter is still not decided. And Allah is showing us all that His mercy is greater than anything else. Subhanallah. Any mercy of anyone cannot compete with the mercy of Allah. So Allah is saying to, to them, you, you said Allah is not going to have mercy on them. Enter Jannah. You enter Jannah. Showing them you were wrong. Allah's mercy is greater. How many times people doom others? You, you won't make it to Jannah. These people, they will never go to Jannah. How do you know? Do you know the condition upon which the person died or will die? This is why we are not allowed to condemn particular people into hellfire because I don't know. I'm not their Lord. No, am I the owner of heaven? No, am I the owner of hell to decide who will go in and who wouldn't? I might not forgive someone, but the Lord most merciful, most forgiving, most kind may forgive them. Who am I to doom people? Don't doom others. Be careful. So Allah tells them, go into Jannah. Wow. Now they are into Jannatul Firdaus. And these people, they will be cast into hellfire. The people of Jannah will be the first to talk. Now they want to say things. And the, the discussion can be heard on the other side at that juncture in a way known by Allah. You cannot come to me and say, Sheikh, can you please describe in detail how exactly it is going to happen? I will have to tell you, hang on. When we go, we shall see ourselves how it is happening. 
For now, I only know what Allah told me and I stop there. Allah describes a beautiful conversation. These people of Jannah. وَنَادَى أَصْحَابُ الْجَنَّةِ أَصْحَابَ النَّارِ The people of Jannah called the people of Jahannam. Meaning they spoke to them. They asked them something. What are you asking? Hey! قَدْ وَجَدْنَا مَا وَعَدَنَا رَبُّنَا حَقَّا فَهَلْ وَجَدْتُمْ مَا وَعَدَ رَبُّكُمْ حَقَّا we have found what our Lord promised us to be the truth. Have you found what your Lord has promised you to be the truth? Wow, what a question. We worked hard, we did our salah, we paid zakah, we were honest, we stayed away from sin, we sought forgiveness every time we faltered and even when we did not falter. We tried our best to develop a relationship with Allah, we were conscious of the akhirah, we kept praying for Jannah, we kept protecting ourselves, we considered what Allah decreed to be the ultimate decree and today we found what Allah promised us in terms of Jannah to be the truth. What about you guys? La ilaha illallah. What will be the answer of the people of hell? They have no answer. Qalu na'am. That's all they could say. They said na'am. Yes, we found it to be true. We didn't believe, we didn't do this, we did whatever we wished. We were immoral, we lost our values, we didn't worship Allah alone, we, our maker alone, we turned away, we did this and we transgressed, etc., etc knowing that there were people who kept reminding us don't do this turn to your maker turn to your we never turned to our maker and now we are sitting here in hell may allah safeguard us may allah grant us may allah grant us ease and goodness and may allah bless everyone may allah grant guidance to entire humanity